Welcome to the Target Lock Tutorial. First, let's review how the attack button works. Tap to attack. Tapping the attack button prioritizes attacking an enemy champion in range. Tap to attack. If there are multiple enemies in range, it prioritizes the one with the lowest. If you want to prioritize attacking min, let's try it out. Never. You can also manually select a target to lock onto. Drag the attack button to lock on to an enemy target. Target locked. Try locking on to the enemy Soraka. My arrows fly. While locked on to a target, attacks and abilities will automatically prioritize it. Let's try tapping to cast an ability. Look, it automatically casts at your locked target. But how do you unlock from a target? You can either drag the attack button to the cancel button, or tap the minion or turret button to force a target swap. Let's try it out. Target unlocked. Now, let's try it in a real battle. Help the ally Garen defeat the enemy Trindamir and Soraka. I don't know. Soraka will keep healing Trindamir. Keep going. Challenge completed. Victory! Here you'll learn to use the tar- Tapping your attack button will prioritize enemy champions within range. Focus. Use the minion button to attack enemy minions. New mission. Attack the enemy minions! Good. You now know how to use the minion button. Use the turret button to prioritize enemy structures. New mission. My arrows fly true. You face an ice board. Good. You now know how to use the turret button. Congratulations. Now try it in a real match. Here you'll learn to use the portrait lock feature to lock on to enemy champions. First, activate the portrait lock setting. Success! Portrait lock is now enabled. Next, let's learn how to lock on to enemy targets. Tap on the enemy champ- Great! You've successfully locked on to the enemy champion. Now your attacks will target the champion you've locked onto. Now your abilities will target the champion you've locked onto. Next, let's learn to cancel the lock-on. Tap on the locked champion. Good! You've successfully cancelled the lock-on. Now defeat Ash using portrait lock. Good! Laser! Congratulations! Now, try it in a real match!
Welcome. Here you'll learn turrets will prioritize the first enemy that enters their attack range. You will take heavy damage if you attack a turret by yourself. Let minions take damage for you. Your minions are taking the turret's fire. Now is the time to attack. When you go near a turret, you will see one of three colored circles on the ground. The colors indicate how the turret will behave. Green. The turret is attacking other units. You won't be attacked if you enter its range. Yellow. The turret is not attacking any units. You will be attacked if you enter its range. Red. You are currently being attacked by the turret. An enemy champion is coming to protect the turret. Turrets will protect champions on their team. Attacking enemy champions within range of their turret will cause the turret to attack you. New mission. Defeat the enemy. Excellent. Let's keep going and destroy the enemy turret. Congratulations. Now, try it in a real match. Here, you'll learn about... First, let's learn about the buff monsters. The Blue Sentinel and the Red Brambleback. The Blue Sentinel is commonly called the Blue Buff. After defeating the Sentinel, champions gain a temporary buff to health and mana regeneration. In time, the Blue Sentinel evolves and its buff becomes even more powerful. The Red Brambleback is commonly called the Red Buff. After defeating the Brambleback, champions gain a temporary buff that adds true damage and slow to their attacks. In time, the Red Brambleback evolves, and its buff becomes even more powerful. Follow the arrows and attack the Blue Sentinel. A true master is an eternal student. You've defeated the Blue Sentinel and gained the Crest of Insight buff. Next, follow the arrows and attack the Red Brambleback. Doubt is the greatest enemy. defeated the Red Brambleback and gained the Crest of Cinders buff. Next, let's learn about the Rift Scuttler. Rift Scuttlers will spawn after the game begins, one in each half of the river. They will respawn shortly after be- Follow the arrows and attack the Rift Scuttler. After a Rift Scuttler is defeated, it spawns a Speed Shrine. This shrine grants an area of effect nice job. Let's learn about Elemental Drakes next. Cloud, Mountain, and Ocean. They spawn in a random order. The first Elemental Drake will spawn a few minutes into the game. A new Drake will appear a few minutes after one is defeated. Defeat an Elemental Drake to earn a buff for your team. Defeated Drakes will not respawn. The final Elemental Drake spawned is the Elder Dragon. New mission. 
Defeat the Elemental Drake symbol on the Dragon Pit tells you which type of Elemental Drake will appear next. Great! You've successfully defeated a great job. Now upgrade the Smite spell. You can upgrade Smite after defeating four jungle camps. Once it's upgraded, Smite can be used against enemy champions. Choosing the red upgrade increases the damage Smite deals to enemy champions. New mission. Congratulations! Now, try it in a real match! Here you'll learn about Baron Nasher. Watch and learn more about Baron Nasher. Baron Nasher is commonly called just Baron or Nasher. He'll spawn late during the game and respawn after he is killed. Also, Baron Nasher has high attack and defense. You'll need a team to defeat him. Defeating Baron Nasher will grant the Hand of Baron buff to your team. This buff enhances nearby allied minions, reduces recall time, and increases your damage. Follow the arrows to meet your team at Baron Nasher. Swiftly now. New mission. Help your team defeat Baron Nasher. I don't miss. You've defeated Baron Nasher, and Ga Baron's buff empowers your recall, allowing you to return to base faster. Tap the recall button. Now follow the arrows on the ground into the mid lane to buff your minions. Your minions have been buffed. Go attack the enemy's turrets. Let's see how close we can get. You face an ice board. Strike quickly! Strike quickly! You face death. Congratulations. Now, try it in a real match. Swiftly now. Welcome. Here you'll learn about laning rules. In this match, you'll start the game in the top right corner of the map. For your convenience, your point of view will automatically rotate. Remember, you can find the Elemental Drake's location using the Elemental Drake symbol on the minimap. An Elemental Drake will spawn here a few minutes into the game. Remember this location. The lane closest to the Elemental Drake is called the Dragon Lane. Follow the arrows and move to the Dragon Lane's outer turret. Let's see how close they can get. Watch out! 
An enemy champion is at the outer turret. New mission. The bow is my will given Defeat the, the enemy. It is me. First run. Enemy slain. Double the jungler is attacking the elemental drake. Go help. Go to the dragon pit and help the jungler defeat the elemental drake. Follow the arrows to the elemental drake. New mission. Help your team defeat the elemental drake. My arrows fly true. You have defeated the Elemental Drake. Well done. Congratulations. Now, try it in a real match. I long for a worthy opponent. <laughs> 